Uncanny X-Men 190 begins with Valerie Cooper meeting with the government to tell them that Manhattan Island has been transformed from modern day society into a barbaric historical state by the wizard Kulan Gath. He has erected a magical energy wall and everything that's inside of it is under his spell, including heroes like the Avengers and the X-Men. The only hero unaffected is Spider-Man. Val says that the spell retains people's virtues and attitudes, but that their knowledge of modern day society is gone. Some government officials suggest that it's probably mutants who caused this problem, and everyone there argues about it for a bit, but Val collects the room and reminds them that the wall is expanding and that the whole world might be in danger. Inside the mystical Manhattan, Storm awakens on a boat. She knows that something is wrong here, but she can't quite place it. Callisto and the Morlocks suddenly barge in on her. They are working for Kulan, and they are here to capture Storm and make her his slave. They want to collar her, but she fights back and escapes, and accidentally sets the boat on fire in the process. She rides a rope up to the top of the mast, and Callisto pursues her. The two women fight, and Callisto cuts Storm, and it seems as though Storm's memories suddenly come back to her. The fire has grown out of control, and Storm dives into the water and pulls Callisto down with her. The impact knocks Callisto out, and she and Storm float their way through the magical energy wall and outside of Kulangat's spell, and they revert totally back to normal. In Kulan's throne room, he merges Xavier and Caliban together into one entity. He says that everyone is under his influence, except for Doctor Strange, who he has captured. He summons his prisoners, the New Mutants, who the Xavier Caliban entity helped him capture, and he transforms them into his slaves. Warlock manages to escape, and he tries to free the other New Mutants too, but he's too slow and he has to leave them behind. Kulan wants Xavier slash Caliban to find him, but Warlock's alien technology masks him from their powers. Xavier tries to fight Kulangat's hold over him, but Kulan is too strong and he overpowers him. Meanwhile, Selene slinks in the shadows, and she is also unaffected by Kulan's spell. It turns out she and Kulan are old enemies, and she whisks off to find help in overthrowing him. Magma and Rachel are being bullied by some Morlocks when Selene shows up behind them. She drains the Morlocks' life essences and saves the two girls, recruiting them for her cause. Outside of the city, Storm and Callisto are being held by the government for questioning when Selene telepathically contacts them. She proposes that they all team up to overthrow Kulan, and Storm and Callisto hesitantly agree. Storm lockpicks their way out of the government detention center, and Callisto leads them into a Morlock sewer. In Manhattan, Spider-Man is being attacked by the New Mutants. He runs away, and they end up inside of a pub where they all fight for a bit. The Avengers are there too, but they don't make a move until Spider-Man is captured and the New Mutants turn their sights toward Ileana. Captain America stands up for Ileana, and so do the X-Men, so Danielle orders her warriors to attack, and Colossus and Sunder suddenly show up as Kulan's muscle. In the sewers, Storm and Callisto cross the magical border and are once again under Kulan Goth's spell, but Selene's enchantment keeps them from being totally under his influence, and they know that they must go seek her. In the pub, everyone is fighting when Ileana summons her soul sword and stabs Colossus with it, breaking him out of his villainous funk. Sunspot gets the best of Ileana though, and it looks like Ileana's days are numbered when Selene intervenes and grabs Kulan's army. The New Mutants decide to flee, and they escape with Spider-Man as their captive. The heroes celebrate a victory, and Selene tries to recruit all of them, but she's suddenly interrupted by the evil wizard himself, and he teleports her away just as Storm and Callisto arrive to meet her. In Kulan's throne room, Selene taunts Kulan, and he orders his Hell Horde to find the Hero Rebellion and kill them all. Meanwhile, Callisto has taken everyone to a secret tunnel beneath the city, where they all debrief and talk about what's going on. Rachel and Magma are totally under Selene's thrall, and even though neither Storm nor the Avengers trust Selene, they know that they'll need her help in taking down Kulan Goth, so they agree to band together and free her and put an end to Kulan's evil reign. Well, that's it for this issue. I really like this arc, so be sure to check back soon for my review video where I go into detail about what I thought of all these characters. Feel free to bum around my channel for more issue summary spoilers like this, or you can follow me on social media for an assortment of other fun X content like random panel scans. Thanks for stopping by today, and be sure to come back soon for more great X-Mentations.